So what is the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit processors or a 32-bit or 64-bit versions of Windows? Well, first off, the version of Windows you get will be based on whether your processor is 32-bit or 64. How do I find out if my processor and Windows is 32 or 64-bit? That's easy. Just press Windows plus the R button and type in msinfo32.exe. Press enter and that will pull up your computer's information and will tell you everything you need to know. This can be done on all versions of Windows 7, 8, or 10. It might be easiest first to understand what 32 and 64 bit even means. A bit is essentially a binary digit, binary being either ones or zeros that are used to communicate with the computer in a digital form. A computer will generate bits that are high or low electric voltages through its circuits. A computer's network adapter, which is usually built in nowadays but can also be a USB, will then essentially translate those voltages into ones and zeros, which are then used to communicate across the network. This is also known as the process of encoding. There are eight bits in a byte, and a byte is static, or in other words, does not change. Computers organize their data into bytes to increase data processing efficiency of its memory, disks, and hard drives, and also network interfaces. An example of how a computer translates a number readable to an average user to binary in which nerds and computers understand is your IP address. Take your IPv4 address 192.168.0.1. That is one of the most common default IP addresses supplied by your network provider and allows you to connect your computer to outside networks such as theirs. You may see your IPv4 as 192.168.1.0. But in binary, your computer reads this as 11000010010000000000000000000000001. Learning binary may be a video for another time, but know for now that all those ones and zeros represent a decimal value which can be added together to get a desired number of computer understands. Your IPv4 address is a 32 bit address assigned to you by your service provider and given to you. A 32-bit processor can store 2 to the power of 32, or 4,294,967,296 bytes, or otherwise known as 4 gigabytes, at any time. A 64-bit processor can store substantially more at 2 to the 60 power of 64, or I'm honestly not even sure what that number is, but you can see that's huge values, meaning it can process 4 billion. 294,967,296 more than a 32-bit processor at any given time. 32-bit processors are essentially a dying breed as 64-bit processors, unlike 32, allow for dual quad and octa-core designs. This supports a higher memory storage than 32-bit can, allowing you to up your RAM to over 4GB, which 4GB is the highest a 32-bit system can support. New versions of Windows today can easily use 2GB of RAM just to function and 64-bit is a must for all the information being processed, be it through the computer or on a network. A lot of programs still have 32-bit support, but at the same time, a lot of newer programs may only have versions available for a 64-bit computer. If you have a 64-bit computer, you can use either 64-bit or 32-bit programs, but on the flip side, if you have a 32-bit computer, you are stuck using only 32-bit programs. Being that the 64-bit can process so much more than a 32-bit, you may find 64-bit programs or games actually look and function better, and will also have additional features that were not able to function properly with the little power available in a 32-bit system. Anyways, I hope everyone liked this video, and I will be making a video on how to read binary for people who may be interested, so keep an eye out for that. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Please support the channel by subscribing and leave a like, and also have yourself a great day.